Hello friends, my name is Ramsu. Today we shall discuss about a topic multi criteria decision analysis. Friend, today's topic is very interesting and very important with respect to project management and especially if you are a student and you are planning to give exam of PMP in near future. So this is a very very important topic and we have taken this topic from the PIMPOC guide, Project Management Body of Knowledge. So let's start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's start. So friend, what is multi-criteria decision analysis? If you just see this term multi-criteria decision analysis, so this term uh, shows clearly that this is a term related to decision making. Whenever you are making any decision, so you can use this approach that is called as multi-criteria decision analysis. That means friend, in a project you have to take multiple decisions. Even in a normal life or general life as well, you have to take different decisions based on different criteria as a human being whenever we are uh, going somewhere we are have to take some decisions so on basis of different criteria or multiple criteria we have to take a decision so uh, friend in project management as well we have to take decision on on based on, on based on different criteria so multi criteria decision analysis uh, that is called as multiple criteria decision analysis MCDA or multi criteria analysis or MCA that means friend you have to take decisions based on different criteria now uh, friend what are the uh, steps to take multi criteria decision analysis first of all you have to define the context okay, context means before you can get started on a multi criteria analysis you need to clearly define the context of your analysis context and account for the present situation key players and stakeholders in the decision making process then identify the options available options means friend if you are taking if you are going to make some decision so what are the other options available which you can consider which you have to take account for it then decide the objectives and select the right criteria that represent the value uh, that means friend that what is your aim what is your objective actually were on which basis you want to take a decision then measure out each of the criteria in order to discern their relative importance that means whatever the decisions you are going to make uh, just choosing the right career wouldn't suffix to combine and analyze the different scales of choice one preference is unit is not necessarily the same is and as another this is similar to comparing temperature scales such as celsius and fahrenheit both scales may concern temperature but a difference of 1 degree celsius is greater than 1 degree of fahrenheit okay then calculate the different values by averaging out weighting and uh, scoring that means friend whenever you are making a decision uh, what you do like you uh, can uh, give some score to every option and based on that uh, scores you can take the decision uh, and uh, the scoring will be calculated properly here i just want to give you a very simple example for example you want to purchase a new mobile okay uh, and nowadays in the market multiple options are available to purchase a mobile for example just take an, as an example mobile one two three four five five types of mobile or five types of companies are available you can purchase so now what are the criteria first of all the price and cost of the mobile then the storage space then the camera then look and feel so there are multiple criteria are available based on which you can take the decision so what you would do actually you can uh, list down all the uh, available prices this storage space the camera uh, megapixel and then look and feel uh, the rating of look and feel as well so based on that friend whenever you have like multiple criteria available and multiple mobiles are available so based on that you can uh, first of all your uh, your mind should be clear that for example you want uh, any solution you want any mobile which is cost effective or you want that a uh, mobile which is having a very good camera so uh, your context should be very clear that what actually you want to purchase and based on that you can take the decision you can purchase the mobile accordingly so this is a very uh, good example of multi criteria analysis like you based on multiple criteria you take a decision and this decision based on your objective aim and goal in your mind so friend uh, thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope you like this video if like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks for watching the video thank you friends